Hi guys, this is RoboSalad here to give you guys a tutoring session on College Algebra. I don't know your levels at this moment, so I'm going to start off with the very basics. First of all, there are different kinds of numbers. For example, the natural numbers, which are 1, 2, 3, all the way up to infinity. And then there are the whole numbers, which are your natural numbers and including zero. Then you've got your integers, which are your whole numbers and their inverses or um, negative versions. Now we've also got a couple other sets of numbers, including the rational numbers and the irrational numbers. Rational numbers include things like five sevenths, two, um, two and a half. Irrational numbers include numbers such as pi and e. Irrational numbers simply mean that they don't have a terminating point like some numbers would. For example, pi is approximated at 3.1416. E is about 2.78 because there is no actual terminating point they're generally approximated. Alright, now I'm going to tell you about the different properties of numbers, or more specifically, the properties of numbers in an equation. For example, the associative property deals with numbers in sets that don't matter how they are put together. For example, a plus b plus c, the quantity a plus b plus c, is the same as if you took a plus the quantity of b plus c. Same works with multiplication. Quantity of a times b times c is still equal to a times the quantity of b times c. Then you've got your distributive property, which says that a number a times a quantity of b plus c, for example, is equal to a times b plus a times c. Then you've got a commutative property, which basically states that numbers can be added in any order. A plus B is still the same as B plus A. And then the double negative rule. You'll use this quite a bit later on, where any number that's negative multiplied by negative 1 is still going to be A because it's already flipped from positive to negative and now it's flipping back to a positive number. Any negative number times a negative number is going to be positive. Now let's talk about inequalities. Inequalities are similar to equations but instead of having an equal sign you'll have a greater than or equal sign, or a less than or equal sign, or just a greater than or less than sign. Now you might also encounter a few other things, such as 
not equal to, used in irrational in the rational numbers, where b cannot equal zero. Then there's approximate numbers, where pi is approximately two. It's an equal sign with squiggles instead. 3.1416. These are going to be used later on when you use graphing and asymptotes.